In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this text masking effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drone here, back with another tutorial. And as you can see, this is the final output. So we are back inside Photoshop and let's look at the photo. So this is the original photo. And the font that we will use in this effect are literally called the bold font. Now, if you want to use the font or uh, image, anything that I shown in this video, the download link is in description. So feel free to use it. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the background and for that right click here and select quick selection tool. And also I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Then let's make the selection of the photo. It's really simple photo uh, to cut out. The selection is done and after that go and click on this layer mask here. Do not delete the background because we will need it later. So use layer mask. This is done. Now I'm going to go and fix uh, the selection around here. So for that right click here and select select and mask. In the old version of Photoshop select refine edge. They're both very similar. So first of all I'm going to go and uh, select the second option here the refine brush tool. Uh, it's default in CSX, so I'm gonna go and make selection of, uh, sorry, paint around the hair. Okay, so this looks good, then go and hit OK. Now let's add a white background to it. So for that, click on this second last icon here and it will create a blank layer. And now since it's a background, put it under your model. Then right click here and then select the paint bucket tool. And in the color, make sure you have white color. Then fill it. Now. In case we screw up something and we need the selection again, I'm going to make a backup. So for that, I'll select layer zero, press control J, double click on the name here and rename it to backup. And since it's backup, I'm going to throw it all the way under here. We don't need it. It's just backup. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to go and make the model a bit smaller. So for that, activate your layer zero, then press control T, hold your shift key and make her a bit smaller. So I think this looks fine. Then go and confirm it. After that, I'm going to type in the word. So for that, select your type tool, but in the type tool, right click here and make sure you have vertical type selected. So it will automatically type the letters on top of each other. So uh, the font is ready and in the color, I'm going to select black so we can see what are we typing. So I'm going to do a click and then type the word bold. Looks good. Confirm it. Now I'm going to make it bigger. So for that, press control T, hold your shift key and drag out the word like this. Make sure the B goes a little bit outside. Looks good. And actually I'm going to go back and make the layer zero even smaller. So for that, control T and make it smaller. Now, as you can see, I'm spending a lot of time um, making the font and photo bigger, smaller. That's because I have to make sure that the photo is a little bit bigger than the word. So it covers the entire word and that's really important. So keep that in mind. And if you are not sure like how it looks, simply select your photo and press control T, the box will pop up. And all you have to do is make sure that the photo is a little bit bigger. We are clear, confirm it and it looks great. Now, first thing I will do is activate the layer mask of my model layer, select my brush tool and in the color, make sure it's black color, then right click and make sure hardness is hundred percent. Then I'm going to go and it is everything that's inside the round letters and everything that's on the left side of the word. So just it is everything like this. And when it comes to in between the letters, just take your best guess because we will fix it later. So I think this looks good enough. And after that, I need selection of the word bold. So make sure that the layer mask here is active. After that, hold your control key or command if you're using Apple, then click on this word T here, this thumbnail, click it, then go to select, modify and expand. Here, the number depends on the resolution of your photo, but at average, I think 10 to 15 pixels should be good. So I'm going to select 13, hit OK. So if I zoom in, the selection is a little bit bigger than the word and that's exactly what we need. So after that, make sure the layer mask is active. We have black color here and then press alt backspace. So everything that's inside the selection will be erased. 
then go to select and deselect so all the complicated parts are done and the effect is almost ready now the last thing we have to do is make copy of this layer 0 so press ctrl j and t put it on top of the word bold then right click on this layer mask here and then select delete layer mask so we have the entire photo after that right click here and then select create clipping mask so the photo will only show up inside the word and the final effect is ready and in case the photo looks a little bit dull you can create new adjustment layer and then select vibrance and add a bit more color not too much but i think the, for this photo 50 60 percent is good go and close it and to complement the effect you can add some additional text uh, to make it look more like you know a magazine page so that's it and this is the final output so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if it did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop